If you're looking for current or historical currency exchange rates, Oanda is a great website to use. The Currency Converter tab allows you to get an idea of how much money you will receive if you make an exchange. For example, I'm traveling to Europe and want to exchange 100 US dollars. US dollars is already selected under currency I have, so I just need to type 100 in the amount box under that. Euro is already selected under currency I want and the amount box updates automatically. This tells me that my $100 will buy just under 91 euros. I can change the drop downs under both currency I have and currency I want to any currency in the world. The interbank drop down can be changed as needed. This is good for tourists because your bank will usually charge you a percentage depending on how you exchange the money. An additional 2% is common at ATMs, 3% for credit cards, and 5% at foreign exchange kiosks. You can also change the date as needed. The Rate Details section provides further information on my desired exchange. For instance, I can see that a US dollar buys more euros today than it did 30 days ago. If I click the Traveler's Cheat Sheet tab, I will find a helpful chart detailing common exchange amounts so I know exactly how much I'm paying for something. Oanda also has a currency converter app you can download on your phone. If you're interested in past exchange rates, click the Historical Exchange Rates tab. Again, I can choose the currency I have and the currency or currencies I want. I can use the range section to limit to a specific date range going back to January 1990. I can change the price to bid, ask, or midpoint. Bid means I'm selling a currency. This number is lower than the ask rate. Ask or buy means I'm buying a currency. This number is higher than the bid rate. And the midpoint is the average between the bid and the ask rates. If you forget this information, click the question mark icon for definitions. I can use the values drop down to change from rate to percent change. And I can use the frequency drop down to change from daily to weekly. So let's say that I want to know the June 2014 exchange rates between the US dollar, the euro, and the British pound. Notice that I can make up to five selections under currencies I want and they will all appear on the same graph. I can click the table tab if I prefer this format to a graph. There is also a live exchange rates tab that can be used to see what is actually happening with the exchange rates at a specific moment. The data is updated every five seconds. You can scroll down to see more currency pairings.